Hello, my name is Dr. Greg Simcoe and today I'd like to talk about my stroke and um, I'd like to do a series on, on my stroke and what happened to me. To start off, um, I was pretty healthy. I was 40 years old. Um, I ran five miles a day, ate well, did all the right things. One day I'm in my friend's office and um, I get up and I look down the hall and the hall starts to turn and I can't keep my balance. I fall down. Um, I'm helped to sit up in a chair and I start sweating profusely and then I'm, I lay down. All of a sudden, um, I'm having a hard time speaking and basically seeing. I, I just can't even come close to standing up. My blood pressure goes through the roof. Um, they get an ambulance. I'm taken to the emergency room and I see my wife and slowly, I don't see her anymore, and slowly I can't talk and they gave me something to drink and basically I was choked on water. Um, slowly I'm actually losing my ability to use my arm, sit up, everything. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. They did spinal taps, they did x-rays, they said what's wrong with this guy. Finally a neurologist came in and said mm, let's take an MRI of his brain. They took an MRI of my brain and they found that I had five little infarcts or little areas of my brain that were basically dead um, and it was in my cerebellum which is basically Latin for little brain. My cerebellum was affected uh, by five areas in my brain and what they dis further discovered is that a artery in my neck, the vertebral artery which is found in the back of the neck, had dissected. Now what that means is that the inside wall of the artery, the layers basically split from one another and pieces of material or pieces of the artery floated into my um, blood system, into the brain and shut off blood supply to certain parts of the brain. The parts of the brain that were shut off were the part that controlled my eyesight, controlled my um, right arm and my right leg. Also, it controlled my speech, it paralyzed my vocal cord, and unfortunately, it caused a great deal of pain. Facial pain, left arm pain, and left leg pain. The pain I experienced was burning type of pain. Um, it also went into the area that controlled my balance and my perception of the world, so I had unbelievable vertigo. So not only were, was I unable to control my eyes, my eyesight was gone, um, but I couldn't even sit up without falling over um, because my perception of the world constantly was changing. So here I was, 40 years old, um, and basically I was a vegetable in a matter of hours or <laughs> whatever. Um, my blood pressure was very high, so they couldn't control it. They were worried that I would actually have another stroke. So I was put in intensive care. Um, basically, I just wanted to give up at that point. Um, many stroke people who have gone through this feel as though, well, what the heck, I'm done. Let other people take care of me. Um, for all my life, up until the age of 40, I was taking care of other people. And I felt that this time, now it's time for people to take care of me. Um, I didn't really care, I just laid there I was on morphine because the pain was very intense and I had some pretty vivid dreams being on morphine. But at that point, I just basically gave up. I said, that's it. Uh, I'm done. I'm cooked. There's nothing more that can be done. And there I lay. Um, please look again here because I'll be telling my story in several parts. This is part one, the beginning of my stroke. Um, as you can see, I'm no longer... Um, having those type of problems um, and if you want to find out how I overcame it, please listen.